Hi everyone. In this video, I want to address a couple of questions I received related to the 3D printer firmware update. First, let me show you how you can get this firmware from the Creality website. Then we can talk about the SD card real quick. So I am here on the Creality website. You go to creality.com. I'll leave a link in the description under support. Recently, they moved things to the Creality Cloud. So here, download in Creality Cloud. That's where we're going to click. And it's going to bring us to this page. You can see here you have four options. This last one, firmware. We're going to click on that. And then it brings you to this page. If you are looking for a general firmware, then you might find it here. So you would choose your printer. For example, if you have an Ender series. So let's take uh, my uh, viewer example here. Uh, it is Ender 3 Pro motherboard version 4.2.2. Obviously, this is just an example, but you can apply this depending on your printer. So let's go to Ender 3 here. And then when you choose the Ender series, you can see here there is Ender 2 Pro, there is Ender 3, Ender 3 Max. In the example of the scenario that we're talking about here, we're going to look under the Ender 3 Pro. And then you can see there is motherboard version 4.2.2. Also, there is 4.2.7. So depending on your motherboard version, you would choose the firmware you want. Here, you see there are multiple releases. And there is a description kind of explaining which one is which. For example, it looks like this is the default here. This one has a support for the Spirit uh, high temperature hot end. This one is a CR touch. This is a multi-language. And I highly recommend that you read the description to make sure that this will fit your need. Now, for my viewer specific question, uh, it was related to the CR Touch exactly. Now, let's take, uh, so the CR Touch would be under the others section. So you see here on top, there is others. We're gonna click that. And you can see under others, that's where the CR Touch show up. Now. If I scroll down, you have under three pro, and that's the motherboard version that we're looking for. And not, not the 4.2.7, but actually the motherboard 4.2.2. So depending on your printer and your motherboard version. Once again, let's say if you have an Ender 5, then you would look under Ender 5. So now you did find your firmware. All you have to do is click on the file to download it. And see here, I'm downloading the file. Then I need to move this to the SD card or micro SD card. Now, uh, that brings me to the second question I received. Do you need to have like a freshly formatted micro SD card? The answer is not necessarily. As long that the micro SD card is properly formatted and you put in the firmware file in the root level. So don't put the file deep into the folder structure. So if the file is outside in the micro SD card in the root level, then it should be fine. Here's another thing. Do not use a very large size micro SD card. So I would stick with 16 or 32 gigabyte. That's probably the highest I would go. Also make sure that the micro SD card is FAT32 formatted. And again, the file should be in the root level. Then you should be fine. Now, if the printer is still having hard time reading the micro SD card, then maybe there are, if there are other files, I would consider removing those, maybe back them up to your PC. Well, obviously back up your files just in case your micro SD card get corrupted in the process. So I would encourage you to back up your files first. Then maybe if it's still not working, yeah, format the micro SD card again and then leave the firmware file on its own and that should work. Generally speaking, you probably want to leave that micro SD card in the printer anyway because that's how you store your settings, especially if you are doing the CR touch. If you're doing the CR touch, you're going to have to set that offset level for the nozzle and the hot end, right? 
So to store those settings, you're going to need the micro SD card to remain in the printer. So I would actually dedicate a micro SD card that can stay in the printer and maybe not have your files on it. That way you don't have to keep removing it. And if you remove the micro SD card, then the printer will kind of forget the stored settings. I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment. I will always do my best to help you out. Uh, this is it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.